Less than an hour ago, we were here and about five plain clothes investigators, we don't know if they're local, state, federal, they were inside and we saw a lot of activity inside the home and the home was lit up. So we were able to peek in some of the windows, but we saw those men inside the home in the two particular rooms uh, where the murders took place. We did not see them leaving with any materials. I asked them a couple of times, why are they back? They did not answer me. They pulled away in two vehicles. One had a Washington state plate. The other had an Ohio, uh, Idaho plate. Um, but that is all we can tell you. But we did see a lot of activity. This house was lit up for nearly an hour. They were inside. We don't know why. Nothing seemed to be removed. But as you know, Ashley, yesterday, a lot of the kids' belongings were removed by Moscow police to be returned to their families. So I'm just watching these guys as they're walking by you. Were you asking them questions and were they effectively just ignoring yes. you? Did they say hello? Did they say yes. anything at all? Not a peep. And I asked them specifically, why are you here tonight? Why are you here tonight? They did not acknowledge me. So uh, certainly they were on a mission and they left without saying a word. So Nancy, I just want to point out the, the, the video that we're seeing right now. Let's blow this up full because uh, and let's replay that if we can, too. This is the investigators walking out of the kitchen area. Um, into a hallway and then walking towards the living room. So there they are. It looks like they're emerging from the kitchen area, walking towards the front of the house. That that grassy uh, sign that's on the wall right there, that's the good vibes sign. Mm -hmm. There's there's actually two of those yep. signs in the house. It's very it's very confusing. There's a there's a good vibe sign right. that was lit up in in Kaylee Gonzalez's room. And there's also that same grassy good vibe sign right down there that faces the front in the in the living room. So they're walking out of the kitchen area and walking towards the front of the house in the living room on the second floor there. But it's that's that's the first time, Nancy, that we've actually been able to see them at yep. work inside the house. Right. And looking inside, we did see, you know, so many signs of a typical college life, you know, the items that we saw, red solo cups. We we saw a beer bottle. And there you see the window with the shades drawn, but you see the sh the shadows of them working in that room. But yeah, they were inside. They seemed to be targeted in where they were going and what they were doing, and then they left without a word, uh, even though curious I tried about to the get kitchen. some comments out of them. Yeah, it, it's curious about yeah. the kitchen because we're still trying to get confirmation as to whether, you know, the killer entered through that back kitchen sliding door. But, you know, listen, that on a crime scene, they're going to look at every inch of that house. I am interested when you said that there was a Washington plate because the very first thing I thought of when I saw those guys is they... Look, they, they don't look local necessarily. And I, I don't say that because they don't look like they're from Idaho. It just looks like they're moving in a particularly specific way. Yeah. And this late in the game, it, it just screams FBI to me and maybe an FBI field office that's partially from Washington, maybe an FBI field office from the Idaho area. That they Did you ask if they were from FBI or what jurisdiction? And they just said, you know, uh, I, nothing to see here? Yeah, they would not. They would give me nothing, and I did call Moscow police. No answer, no response, so no explanation for any of this, That's but new. they were clearly inside on a mission. I mean, 25 days of processing a crime scene, to me, it is, it's something I haven't really seen, unless it's, you know, a, a massive school shooting. That, that could take 25 days because there's just so much, so many victims and so much territory and so many markings. This one is a really unusual Complexity. I can only think it's because there's just so many samples in that house over the years and over the, the times that the kids have been there that they just, I'm still shocked they only have 113 pieces of evidence. Nancy, thank you for getting that video right. and for being the eagle eye and spotting that. Really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. And, and we should point out that yeah. a lot of the forensic evidence went to the state lab and that is still being tested. You know, the blood is the the blood mixed DNA is the killer's mm -hmm. DNA being tested. So there's a lot of information and evidence that's being tested now. And the Moscow Police Department kept stressing that, you know, we're not releasing a lot of information because we're protecting the integrity of the investigation, sure. a term we keep hearing. So 
a lot of Understandable. You know, evidence still being well, processed and, and, and tested. We, we, honestly, we honestly don't know if that killer uh, cut himself and, uh, and has you know, mixed DNA in that blood, but you can't do that much activity and not shed a skin cell or a hair or a fiber off your sweater or your jacket or your hat. It's, it's next to impossible. It's just how many other people have walked through that house through the, you know, through the, right. through the ages, honestly. Uh, Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.